The Scottish and UK governments appear to be on a collision course tonight over who gets what powers after Brexit. Ministers in London have published plans to protect trade among the different nations of the UK once the Brexit transition period ends. The Scottish government says the proposals would strip power from Holyrood and are a significant threat to devolution. There's even talk of legal challenges. Here's our Westminster correspondent, David Porter. Look at it this way. It's all about the levers of power and control. Get your hands on these and you can decide the political direction of travel. As the UK prepares to leave the single market, powers will be returned from Brussels. But where will the legislative train end? London or Edinburgh? It's shaping up to be a humdinger of a row, with talks of power grabs and power surges. Today, the UK government has published plans that will mean the devolved administrations accepting standards set by Whitehall. The legislation will underpin the so-called UK internal market. It will cover common standards, among others on food, the environment and animal welfare. There will be a month-long consultation period. This is not about ideology, this is about pragmatism and this is about supporting businesses, supporting jobs, supporting livelihoods and that's why we have put forward these proposals. That cuts little ice with the SNP. Um, this is not about not working together, it's about riding uh, and not wanting to see the UK government ride roughshod uh, over the powers of the Scottish Parliament. This effectively would allow the UK government to decide issues of food standards or, or consumer standards, environmental standards, that right now are uh, decisions for the Scottish Parliament. Not so, says the Scottish Secretary. I mean, the Scottish government is speaking absolute nonsense on this. They can't name one power that's been grabbed. Every single power that the Scottish Government currently have, they will still have after this legislation comes in. The powers have been grabbed from Brussels back to the United Kingdom. There are mutterings that it could all end up in the courts. Yet again, the Scottish and UK governments could be facing each other here at the Supreme Court. Separately, further talks today between the Scottish and UK governments on the wider issues thrown up by Brexit but little sign of any real progress. Indeed, things may get worse before they get better. David Porter, reporting Scotland, Westminster. Our chief political correspondent, Glenn Campbell, joins us now from Holyrood. Is this row, would you expect it to go all the way to the courts, Glenn? It could well do. The Holyrood and Westminster governments have obviously been at loggerheads over Brexit since the referendum in 2016, especially over what happens to the powers currently exercised at the European level, how they are shared out across the UK once we have truly left. The proposals from the UK government today are for new laws to govern the internal market of the UK, uh, which means that a product or service that is approved in any one of the four nations can be traded freely in all four nations. The UK government doesn't see a problem with that because there are high standards across the UK at the moment. The Scottish government is concerned that the UK might choose to lower the standards it accepts in food, in safety, environmental standards in order to secure trade deals internationally with countries like the United States. And that could allow, by the back door, substandard produce into the Scottish market against their wishes. Tonight they are saying they will pursue every avenue to resist and oppose this legislation. So, no, it wouldn't surprise me if this ended up in the courts.